Welcome to Living Healthy Chicago. I'm Jane Manzuris. We're starting today's show talking about family health. Now, there's nothing more important to parents than making sure their children are happy and healthy. And that can mean following your instincts and seeking help when something seems off with their health. This next family is sharing their story in hopes of raising awareness. Cooper Walters has a lot of interests you might expect from a teenage boy. I play guitar and ukulele. I might try for some sports teams at my high school. But it wasn't long ago that he was far from focused on enjoying those things thanks to a health scare. I had a sore throat. I was really tired. Body aches. I just really didn't feel good. We weren't sure if it was strep throat or the doctor thought perhaps mono. Cooper's parents took him to see his doctor but it was just a few weeks later that his health took a more serious turn. He started vomiting and vomiting. My husband decided that it was time we take him to the ER and have him checked out. Once they got to the hospital, Cooper began to feel even worse. I was really lightheaded, I was dizzy, screaming, like my stomach was like filling up. It felt really weird, I couldn't explain it. And uh, I felt like I was gonna pass out and from there just went black. The machines, flatlined and I can't even explain the, the pain and sorrow of watching your child basically die in front of you. I, I felt like my heart was gonna stop beating. It was very, very ill when he came in. Right away we were concerned with sepsis or septic shock, an infection that was brewing somewhere. As his doctors revived him, they also began to piece together what was going on. He was septic from the appendicitis, sepsis. It's an overreaction or over-exaggeration of that immune response that the body has that ends up leading to um, organ dysfunction. And if not recognized early, sepsis can lead from mild to severe pretty quickly. For Cooper's case, Definitely he lands in the category of severe. Early recognition and early treatment is the key to surviving sepsis. They did a, a scan and saw that his appendix had indeed ruptured and he needed to go into emergency surgery. The appendix, they quickly took it out. In the operating room, he had another event where his heart rate dropped. At this point, it was decided that we do ECMO. It, it does both the work of your heart and your lungs when they're not working appropriately. With that help, Cooper slowly improved over the next several days. He came off ECMO, the breathing tube came out. Cooper says what helped keep him calm as the machines helped his body recover was the support of his loved ones. I just knew I wasn't alone. Just the support really made a difference. Cooper spent almost two weeks in the hospital before being well enough to go home. After some additional follow-up care and recovery time, he eventually began to feel like himself again. It's like a dream come true. Like I worked so hard to be able to do it. I feel 100%, I'm fine. I um, can do everything I could before. Cooper, his family, and Dr. Padilla hopes his story helps spread awareness about sepsis. The take home message is early recognition and early treatment. If you feel like your child doesn't look well, they're having fevers, high fevers, something about them is making you feel like something's wrong, seek medical attention. It's not to pose any panic, you feel like something's going on, seek medical care. Go with your gut instinct. It's better to be wrong and have your kid be perf perfectly fine than to, to wait until it's too late. You're not alone, ever. You have people to help you and you can't forget that. You have to just keep, keep trying. Hey, did you like that and you want more Living Healthy content? It's easy, just check out these videos right here.